Hey guys, I'm Tony Alden and today I want to show you how we can make the buffer name of the terminal emulator term dynamic. So we are going to look at those uh, function and variable. So first let's uh, start a terminal. So at the bottom, you see, we, we choose the shell we are going to use. So we, uh, we, go, we go with bash and we have a terminal. We can check at the bottom that uh, this is major mode. Uh, we are in term mode. So this is uh, the kind of terminal that we want. And the name of the buffer is ANSI term. But what uh, could uh, would be su super cool and uh, uh, I, uh, this is what uh, i want we want is to is to make the name of uh, that buffer uh, equal to the to the uh, name of the directory we are in uh, in the terminal emulator so uh, you can see we are in home Tony vlog slash and this correspond to at the bottom to the default directory variable that we are here so if i go one up okay the default directory uh, changed and now is home slash tony slash home slash tony okay so what we're going to do is to is to to do some uh, magic that is not so magic but uh, some uh, something to make this uh, change and the buffer name change uh, first let's uh, let's uh, have a look to the function rename buffer so here it it's uh, help buffer so it takes a new name as a string and if we pass the optional argument unique uh, to uh, we make it true uh, we we are able to uh, create buffer that uh, that are unique so it won't return an error if we try to set the buffer name of a buffer which with the name of an already uh, existing buffer so change current buffers name to new name so let's uh, try that uh, function so we go back to ANSI term and uh, let's call it foo okay so look at the bottom I will hit return and the name of the buffer will change that's a change to foo but what if I tell you that maybe we can use a default directory okay so now i have the default directory name uh, in the buffer name if i change and i go back to uh, to slash home slash tennis slash vlog uh, the name of the buffer has then changed but if we reuse that function rename buffer default directory because default directory has changed uh, we have the behavior so now we're going to to use this to use this uh, to, to make it uh, automatic so to do that we are going to use the hook after change function the uh, but before using uh, that hook I want to show you uh, what does that mean uh, the, the uniqueness of the renaming of the buffer so switch to buffer I will create the buffer foo that doesn't exist and it created it. in another window I will create so I switch to another uh, another buffer bar that doesn't exist now I'm in the bottom buffer which is named bar and we'll try to name it uh, rename buffer we'll try to name it foo 
And the last argument, we, we are not using it, uh, and uh, we, we, it will raise an error. Okay, so we are in the backtrace uh, buffer, and uh, we, we see the error. Error buffer name foo is in use. So we, we want to use that uh, function without uh, being uh, careful. So what we can do is the same, but I say, okay, make it unique. I want, I really want to name it foo, but maybe if, it, if there uh, another buffer named foo, do something else to, to make it uh, work. Okay, so you know, you see at the bottom, foo and the name uh, two at the at the end of the string buffer. Okay, so we have some uh, pieces of the things that we uh, we're going we are going to do default directory and one two. So what we want, what we are going to use is that. Uh, hook add hook after change function and here there are some parameters that we are going to uh, to pass so this hook so this is list of function to call after each text change so we uh, we use this hook to uh, to to change to rename the buffer so each time uh, the, there is a text change, we are going to, to, to rename the buffer. It's not perfect, so if someone uh, know another uh, hook to use or another way to do uh, the dynamic renaming, uh, let me know and uh, I will be super happy, but I didn't find a better way right now to, uh, to do the behavior behavior that uh, that uh, I want uh, those function in that hook takes three arguments so we have to 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 add function with three argument so we are creating our function that rename the the buffer we can use the lambda function but it's easier when you name function that you uh, add to the hook because after you can uh, you can remove them at will. So term rename buffer one two three parameter arguments that we are not going to use, and we have our rename uh, function. Now, normally, so what uh, we can do is to use that function here. There is the def argument that we uh, want to use, but we want the, the last one. So go back to the help buffer. No, not this one, but add hook to the help buffer of add hook and you see the last argument that you can pass to uh, that function is local and when you you you, you pass two uh, the hook will be added uh, only in the current buffer you are using and uh, not uh, in the wall uh, emacs so this is what we want to do so we take it we go to the terminal so it's name this one and, and in the mini buffer we will pass uh, we will uh, evaluate that form and normally this should work so we have it then you uh, you see at the bottom that now uh, uh, after change function hook is uh, the list term rename buffer uh, JIT lock after change and two. And now let's see the magic. I go one up, up, and the buffer name change. Uh, I go back, the buffer uh, change two. 
uh, let's maybe create the directory foo we go to foo and uh, the, the buffer name is uh, reflected uh, in, uh, in the in the mod line okay so uh, now it's uh, it's great it's uh, we, we have the the pieces uh, we need to um, to to play with our terminal and the, to add the dynamic renaming of a buffer but uh, we are doing uh, we we are creating a function uh, command now that uh, that open a buffer with those parameters so we want this to happen and this function this command will do we open the terminal so we have to pass it uh, our file or program and the name of the of the buffer so uh, for now we are going to call it default directory so when we are going to use that uh, that command uh, it will open so we are here open a terminal emulate emulator running bash and with the buffer name uh, default uh, directory okay we make it a f uh, an interactive function to be a, a command and right now we can use it so term we have it it's a terminal the name of the buffer is slash home slash tennis slash vlog and just uh, let's try to see uh, if it's uh, dynamically changed when we ch change uh, the directory and it seems uh, to work and we we go back here we have uh, we have foo uh, what if uh, we open a new terminal with uh, our function normally we'll be able so so we'll be able to 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 do that but uh, we want to be sure that uh, we have uh, uh, done the thing right with the naming and the uniqueness of the naming so let's see that and you see uh, vlog is added the two at the end that make it uh, unique if I uh, am at the right if I uh, go one up uh, as there is no buffer name uh, slash home slash Tony it's okay it's uh, done this way and if, if I go back it will uh, make it again unique so uh, so far so good and uh, we have our command maybe I can see if there is anything else that we can do okay so now uh, the, the last thing that uh, we can do is to uh, is to it's not needed but uh, when you when i switch buffer i like to have something that uh, i can select by a terminal uh, that uh, let me know that this is a terminal so concat uh, yes uh, this is it uh, yes we have concat and we can uh, make something like uh, like this okay. and we we'll make it pretty circle what we can use I wanted to use circle dot operator okay so we have it so we evaluate everything so now the uh, buffer are going to be named with uh, term and uh, uh, this, uh, this circle so let's go to this one uh, and sorry so uh, 
I'm missing something. No, okay. Uh, this one, and you see that uh, the name, I prefer to have it like this. So we have the name at the bottom that uh, has changed and uh, that are called with term and the circle. And now, if I want to switch, I can uh, have the terminal and I know uh, where I'm working generally. I'm and a, a better name for me for a terminal are uh, the directory they are in. So this is everything uh, I have today. I hope you enjoy the video. Maybe you have a better way to do it. Let me know uh, in the comment and, uh, or uh, reach out to, to tell me how oh, this is a better hook or uh, you can use uh, an advice or uh, anything else. Uh, I'll be really happy to, to talk to you and to learn from you. So have a nice day and see you next time.